Right. Right. Say, Pop, I think I hit a truck. You hit a truck? Oh, yeah, you hit a truck. That's Norman. That's Norman uh, bringing a truck back with the stuff. I bet you thought he was going to steal the truck, didn't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, nothing. I'm going out and help him unload these bathtubs. Say, what took you so long? You've been gone all day. Oh, I just stopped home for a bite to eat. The way you live in Cleveland? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you sure aren't you, Pops. Hey, but you won't be mad at me when you see this great bar I got you for. This is really out of sight. You ready? <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> you hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. <laughs> Put a bad behind. Oh. Oh. oh, wait a minute, Mr. Sarf. It ain't real. It ain't real. It, it, it's it's stuff. Stuff. What I'm gonna do with a stuffed bear? You, you mean you don't know what it's for? Oh, look, look. Every night before you go to bed, you take this bear and you put it in the window, see? And, and then you shine, you shine whole lots of lights on it. And then if any burglars break in and try to steal something, well, they see this bear and it scares them, see? It's a watch bear. Why, you big dummy? A watch bear? You bigger dummy than my dummy. I'll take you and shove you down that bear's throat. I gave you a check to bring me some bath tub, me, you come with a bear. Listen, if you don't take this bear back and get my money, I knew you wasn't gonna take it make it. Look at you, 200 pounds of brawn and a half ounce of brain. If you don't get my money for this bear, I'll get me a crowbar and peel your head. Oh, come on, Pop, take it easy. And now. don't call me Pop. Hey, Pop. I said don't call me Pop. Oh, uh, hey, son, uh, Norman and I were just discussing the rare purchase that he just made. Well, what's it for? Well, uh, what's it for? Are you kidding? Uh, move, Norman. Let me explain this, dummy. See, this is a watch bear. You put this in the window and shine lights up on it, and it, and it keeps the burglars away. You put that thing in the window, and it'll keep the customers away. Say, excuse us, Norman. You stay out here and watch the bear. Say, come in here. I'll pull on my coat now. You know how I like that. Hey, sit down. Sit down, listen. Now, this guy's going to drive you out of business. Now, he's been gone all day and comes home with a bear. Well, it's his first day on the job. Yo, you gotta give them time to learn the business. I'm telling you, Pop, if we give them any more time, there won't be no business. Now, I just can't stand around here and let this guy do this to you, so I'm gonna quit my new job, no matter how good it is, and come back to work here for you. Well, won't R.B. be mad? Well, I don't care. Let him. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah. What do you ever do for you? That's right. Say, Pop, there's just one thing. Now, what about Norman? Well, I wouldn't do it for nobody else, but I'd do it for you, son. I'm a fire. Hey, but won't he be mad? I don't care. Let him be mad. That's right. What did he ever do for you? He brought me a bear. <laughs> That's exactly why you should fire him, Pop. Yeah, I'm a fire. Say, Pop, where's my bread, man? You want your bread? <laughs> Here, there's your bread. Now you fire. <laughs> and don't, don't never call me Pop. You come out here and say that, Pops. Will you come on in here? Oh. Come on. Come on in here. Oh. Listen, I never hook you to death. 